Hello everyone, it's James in Japan. It's October 27th, 2021. It is a beautiful sunny morning so far. It's a bit cool. It's about 15 degrees Celsius. I'm on my way to have coffee, perhaps at Starbucks. Today I'm going to talk about regulatory signs. These are traffic signs, road markings, traffic, mainly traffic signs in Japan that you need to pay attention to if you drive or ride a motor vehicle. There are so many signs to pay attention to but I am going to pick out the ones that I feel that are most visible such as this one above my head. The round sign with a blue background and red line going across means no parking. First let's talk about the Japanese stop sign which is an inverted red triangle that says tomare that means stop. These days you can see the English word stop just below tomare, mainly in big cities. The next sign that you'll see often is the slow down sign called joko. This sign tells you to slow down and get ready to stop when need to. The next sign is for all vehicles. It means closed for all vehicles. In Japanese it's called sharyo tsuko dome. Sha means car, as in kuruma. Ryo means both. So, sha ryo means vehicles. Tsuko means commuting. Dome comes from tome, which means stop. The next sign is similar, but it has a red stripe going across. It means road closed to all. The blue Japanese writing specifies that no one is allowed to pass through. The next sign is international. It is the do not enter sign. In Japanese, it's shario shinyu kinshi. Once again, shario means vehicles. Shinyu means entering. Kinshi is prohibited. And once again, the no parking sign. In Japanese, it's chusha kinshi. Chusha means parking. Kinshi means prohibited. Next, you'll have a similar sign but with a red stripe going across. In Japanese, it's called Chuteisha Kinshi, which means no parking or stopping. The first two kanji, Chute, means stationary, as in not moving. Try to memorize these two important kanji characters, Kinshi, which is prohibited. Just be careful. Let's talk about speed limits. They are round signs with a red border and a white background in the center with blue numbers. For example, this. This is the posted speed limit, 90 kilometers per hour. Don't go over it. In Japanese, it's called Saiko Sokudo, maximum speed. There's another speed limit sign that looks similar to the maximum speed limit. It's called Saite Sokudo the minimum speed limit. There is a blue line under the speed limit. So in this case, the minimum speed is 50 kilometers an hour. To be honest, I haven't seen this sign yet. Next is the no motor vehicles except motorcycles and mopeds. This is a round sign with a red border and a red stripe going diagonal with a white background and a blue car in the center. In Japanese, it's kind of long. It's called a needing no, jidousha igai no, jidousha tsukodome. So basically, no cars allowed except motorcycles and mopeds. Next is a no two person motorcycles or mopeds sign. It's a round sign with a red border and a red stripe going diagonal with a white background and a picture of a motorcycle with two people on it. I think this is pretty straightforward. In Japanese, it is long. I'll attempt to say it. Ogata jido nirinsha, oyobi futsu jido nirinsha, futari nori tsuko kinshi. Next is the school crossing sign, which is a triangular shaped blue sign with a silhouette of two children 
crossing the road. In Japanese, it's called Odan Hodo. So if you see children wanting to cross the road, you must yield. Stop your vehicle. If you don't, and if a cop is around, you're getting a ticket. The next sign is similar to the last one. It is also a triangular shaped blue sign with a silhouette of a man walking across the road. This is pedestrian crossing for all. It is also called Odan Hodo in Japanese. So you must yield, stop your vehicle if you see anyone wanting to cross the road. The next sign is almost exactly the same as the last one. It is a blue triangular sign with a man and a bicycle. And this is pedestrian crossing, bicycle crossing. In Japanese, it's called Odan Hodo, Jiten Sha, Odan Tai. If you see a person wanting to cross the road or a person riding a bike who wants to cross the road, you must yield, stop your vehicle, and let them cross. Next is a square sign with a red border and a red stripe going diagonal and with a white background in the center and a blue silhouette of a man about to cross the road. This is road closed to pedestrians. In Japanese, it's Hokosha Tsukodome. There's another square sign similar to the one just mentioned. It has a red border and a red stripe going diagonal with a white background and there are two blue lines representing a road with the silhouette of a blue man about to cross the road. This is no pedestrian crossing which basically means you can't cross the road from this point. Let's say that you want to cross the road and there's a traffic light nearby but you don't want to go to the traffic light to cross the road. You want to cross from where you're standing. If you see this sign, you can't cross the road from this point. In Japanese, it's called Hokosha Odan Kinshi. Okay guys, I am going to wrap up this video. This was my first attempt to do a video on Japanese road signs. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.